Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Lindsay Renee, and right now you're in store for another great groovy video. <laughs> now, if you know me, you know that I have a radio show where I play the best of that sweet soul music. And I just started my YouTube channel, and of course you guys probably know me from Instagram, where um, you're my soul patrollers, and we play, make little videos in front of my record player, talking about the music, all that good stuff. But today, um, I'm making a new video about, you know, where I started from. This right here that I started my show with is right back where we started from, by Maxine Nightingale from 1976, got the album right here. And you know, today's video is about where I started from, and it's these guys up here, these records. Um, that I have displayed on my wall and if you joined my live last week you know that I was asking for ideas for new videos and um, you guys told me this to do a video you know talking about what, are, what do these records represent how did I you know choose these particular albums what do they mean what's the story behind them and today I'm gonna tell you what they mean but before we start I'm gonna take a quick sip of some tea this right here is actually lung tea. My parents make it. If you know, if you listen to my radio show, then you know that my parents are a sponsor on my radio show, and they're called Naturally Detroit here in Detroit, Michigan. Um, that's where they base. They have an online store, and they they practice holistic medicine, um, and it's all natural. And they make a they make all sorts of teas and herbs and everything like that. But I'm um, right now I'm drinking their lung tea because you know I'm always talking, and it's so good. And it's made up of seven different herbs. And um, I always drink it about once a day, drink a cup once a day, just, you know, to keep my lungs soothed. So let me, let me take a couple more sips, and then we'll start the video. <laughs> okay, so we're back, and bear with me, guys. I just switched to my front camera, so it might be a little off, but bear with me. But um, if you can see these white rods that the records are, you know, displayed on, I'm going to tell you what they actually are. So my mom was telling me, you know, how she saw on Pinterest that um, people use gutters to actually hang things. So I went to Home Depot and I got these really small gutters. I'm going to see if I, how close I can get so you guys can see that they're actually gutters. Let me get close to the edge. Uh, can you see? Like, yeah, they're gutters. I don't know if you can tell. But they're like the, they're not like the main gutters that would go in the house, but like a form of the gutters. I don't know what type of gutters, but they're gutters, okay? And, um... They're like really small, kind of thin, and they've got like an, a, I don't, I don't know, a dent in between that you can just like place things inside of. So um, that's what I'm using, gutters. DIY, y'all. <laughs> but I'm going to start from the beginning because, you know, this is where it all started with. And if you watch my first video, then you know that Sam Cooke is the guy, right? I told you guys one day I was just laying in bed and I put on some Sam Cooke. Well, that's why he's up here first. I At first, when I started putting these records in order... I did put them in order, like, when I started aligning them, I put them in order of, like, you know, my favorite artist. So, it had to come first, Sam Cooke, and that's one of his greatest hits album. But it's also, you know, color popping, so I chose his that yellow album, although I've got so many Sam Cooke records. And then you've got Johnny Taylor, and um, that's another one of his greatest hits, Johnny Taylor's super hits album. And then, of course, the one of the greatest albums ever, Bobby Womack's If You Think You're Lonely Now album, um, and that's called The Poet. And then these, like, mind you, this first row, and we'll come back and swoop back around. But this first row um, is uh, my my favorite in, or, in order, honestly. So, goes Sam Cooke, Johnny Taylor, Bobby Womack, David Ruffin now. Because you, you, nobody's so, more soulful than David Ruffin. And that is um, a really good, really, really good album, with ha which has um, Statue of a Fool. And also... Um, Walk Away From Love. It's his first solo career album. It's amazing. Um, and then Marvin Gaye. And I guess I probably should just stay in one place so we don't have to come back around. So after that, this second row, we've got Aretha. That album has um, Say a Little Prayer. And also the hit cover, You Send Me, that she does by Sam Cooke. So I had to, you know, place them on top of each other. And that's Whitney Houston's first album, You Give Good Love such a good song and then um dennis edwards solo career album don't look any furthers on there there you go then of course you got michael jackson his thriller album can't go wrong with that and that pose it just looks so good on the wall i had to put it there and then we'll move on to marvin gay you know the what's going on album such a hit like i said you can't go wrong with that and it's also just it's it's one of my favorite artists of course but 
iconic albums. I want iconic albums up there as well. Um, and then you guys know I've got my, my storage and everything like that. But we'll get to that. That's another video. And then the Wiz soundtrack. I found that one day in the record store. And I had to have it. And who doesn't love the Wiz? I do. I watched that movie so many times. And growing up, comment down below if you were actually scared of that um, movie growing up. Because I was. But it was still one of my favorites. And you know what? I'm going to say this right now. Stop what you're doing and like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I want to hear from you guys at all times. Um, and then you've got the OJs right up here with a hit album with Forever Mine. Um, I Want You Here With Me. Such a good one. And then, of course, the Superfly soundtrack. Gotta have the Curtis Mayfield. And Teddy. And that's a live album right there. But I thought the cover, like, once again, you guys, the cover on that iconic and then brother johnson ooh, um i'll be good to use on that album and then i never really talk about this al green album I, I know there's a little bit of a glare but i never really talk about that al green album but um it's a special song on there that you know it's really just it's for me how about that but um it's such a good album and he does a live performance of a couple songs on that album on soul train and i think that's why i really enjoy the album as well and then we've got the Delegation album with Oh Honey. If y'all don't know Oh Honey by Delegation, please go look it up. And then we'll move on to The Temptations. I'm going to try and get over my chairs right here. Oh, let me bring my ring light because we need the light this way. So I want to keep the light. Bear with me, guys. I'm, I'm getting used to, you know, not just standing in one place and making videos. Um, So this is new with walking and, you know, trying to... Uh, make these videos <laughs> but um you got the temptations and the mellow mood and i just honestly thought that was one of the cutest albums ever because it's purple and then the title of it you know they're in a mellow mood so i had to put that one up there and also it was one of their it was a crossover album so it had a lot of crossover hits on it it's such a great album and then you've got diana ooh, mm -mm -mm, with it's my house and i love I, it's my house and i live here um that's that album right there um and it's such a good one the boss because that's who she is, y'all. <laughs> um, we're going to keep things moving. We got the Four Tops. And it has, you know, the hit song, um, Baby, I Need Your Love. And that's her first album ever, actually, the Four Tops. And then Gap Band with another. I actually had another Gap Band album up there. The album with Outstanding and Early in the Morning. Got to, you know, got to get up early in the morning to find me another lover. Um, but I traded out because when I found this album right here, I had to have it. The color, the way they, you know, they, the way they're sitting, they look so good. And then on top of that, you know, My Heart's Yearning for Your Love is on that album. And then we got the impressions. Y'all know I love the impressions. Um, so I just thought that was a really good album. I had to put that up there. And then, like I said, the colors and just the way they look on the album, the way they're positioned, it's such a good one. And it's an iconic album. And then this right here, The Platters, I Love You 1,000 Times album. Um, one of my favorite songs, so I had to put them up there. That's a new album that's actually um, added here. I had something else right there. I believe I had Ohio Players' Fire album up there, but I traded it out for this one right here. Um, and then we've got, okay, we're picking up where we left off. I had to move my, um, ring light over. Sorry for that. But, um, How to Vend July album. If you guys seen my Instagram, then you know that I own, like, three, four copies of this album. So, um, I, uh, had to put it up there. Stevie Wonder's best album, let alone every song on there, is amazing. And then you got McFadden and Whitehead. And then we got more storage, which we'll get to in another video. But, um, McFadden and Whitehead, this is Ain't No Stopping Us Now album. Um, so good. And then at a James at Last album, the Commodores album, which has the hit song Easy, and it's so good. Uh, me and my sisters used to wear that song out. Such a good one. We used to sing it with our boombox that our dad gave us growing up back in the day. And then I got a classic uh, Cook, uh, Chuck Jackson um, album, and you know Chuck Jackson. Chuck Jackson just passed away, so you know rest easy to him. But he's always been up there. He's one of my favorites. And you know me and my sister always just say he sounds like Paul Williams from the. Uh, Temptations. He's got that voice. Then we got Re Petite, Jackie Wilson. It's also a great album, but the, the color pop on there. You know, I was doing something with the scheme and everything like that, trying to keep it, you know, alive and vibrant. We're going to keep things moving. Like, I'm telling you, I got to work with this ring light. Um, and then we've got a Tyrone Davis album. And what about that album? I forget what song is on there. I think Close to You is on the album. 
it's a really good one anything by tyrone davis is actually good so it really doesn't even matter what's on that album and then this lou Rawls album let me be good to you all the songs on there are so good but that that self-titled track it deserves to go up there and then what's the matter with the world so many good ones i had to put it up there and y'all know i love the dells so we got the dells up there then we got heat wave um and then this james brown album it's a live album and i'm not sure you guys know it but um it is where is he Li it's a showtime but he's live and there's a um a song on there called out of the blue um and i'm sure you guys don't know it but i want y'all to check it out okay and then we've got the Delphonics with La 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 Means I Love You, Barry White, I Can't Get Enough of Your Love, Babe, and then we got Wilson Pickett in Philadelphia, because you know we love Wilson Pickett, and then there's Johnny Bristol, Give Me the Night, uh, George Benson, uh, we got the Isleys, and uh, you guys don't know this, but I have a jukebox, I have a whole jukebox right here, um, and then we got the Supremes, the, um, is that the Intruders? That's the Intruders with Cowboys to Girls, and then Roberta Flack with, um, What's the album called? I feel like making love, and that is a hit right there. But I got a lot of 45s and whatnot right over here. But that, honestly, let me bring the ring light with me. That is honestly, you know, my records and everything. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video, and you guys can ask me any questions about the albums below. But this right here is my setup. I've got storage there, storage there, and um, even more records everywhere. How about that? <laughs> but I'm Lindsay Renee, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I always say, until next time, don't lose the good song.